What's up, folks? Ellip on set from Creative Sound. I have good news. Well, partial good news because I discovered a way that we can partially fix our problem. You guys seen my video where a lot of us are at uproar and cry about DAW integration between Native Instruments, Complete Controller, and Studio One. But it, it has been a while and you know, every update that comes out, we haven't really seen much, but I discovered a way to at least get the navigation to work. This is what we, we got here. So as you can see, I will hit play, right? And let's hit record. Hit record again, takes me back out. So your punch in and punch out record feature works. Stop. And as, as you see at the bottom, we stopped at bar six. So I can hit stop again and it brings me back to the beginning, which is cool. I, I like that. Same with the Atom Pad and just to show you guys that they both sync together. Stop. Hit it again, brings me back, back to one. Hit it again, record, punch in, punch out. Same thing, hit stop on the, the controller. All right, and of course, if you want to count in, you definitely have to turn in, turn on your, turn that feature on. Two, three, four, right? Also, this dial knob or locator knob works in conjunction with Studio One, as you can see. So, now, the reason why this is partial is because we still don't have the faders where we can see things, where we can... I, and I'm, I really don't care that much about the faders at this point. I'm, I'm excited that I was able to figure out how to get my controller to control studio one without a lag is it's kind of perfect so the, basically the way that we do that is uh, you have to go to your your preference area here and go to your external devices so as usual you know when you bring in a new instrument um to get your con or any any media device to work that there, there is a list of things here but for this instance you know, you have to go in and bring in a new a new keyboard and then make sure that you find complete and you make it port one and you make both ports port one. Right. And so that's what I did here. I'm just double click here. So I have port one. And then port one for uh, my send to. So my receive from and send to definitely make sure that these are unchecked. And then, of course, make sure you have all your MIDI channels selected. And that's just how I have mine set up. And so that's just the simple settings to get any MIDI controller to work. Right. But the other step is you want to go to Mackie Control. And then at this point, you're going to select complete control DAW one right that's going to be your 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 receive from i'm not going to select that because i already have it selected you don't necessarily have to pick a second one you can leave this at, at none or if you want to go and, and pick DAW again that's that's cool the, the only difference you will see is it's saying connected or not connected right this this says not connected not connected because i don't have that sec that second option you know anything in that second option see there's there's not nothing there but it will still work so in this instance for for complete control i have both of them here as you can see they both they both are selected i don't have to have the second one right and so then you know when we come here it'll say it'll give you indication that it's connected cool and at that point you are done that's the quick fix for right now. I'm not sure if uh, Personas is in talks with Native Instruments about or Native Instruments in talks with Studio One. Personas, I don't know how that works, but I'm satisfied with this discovery. 
I hope this helped you guys. Remember, music is art. You the artist. Paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Thank you.